So I saw Rise of the Planet of the Apes over the weekend, and uh, this is sort of a prequel to the classic movies uh, of the Planet of the Apes series, where uh, apes have taken over the world as the dominant species, and this is sort of the story about how it all started. Uh, in this movie, it turns out that uh, a scientist was on a breakthrough of creating a cure for Alzheimer's, uh, but it turns out that once the medicine is used, that you develop an enhanced intelligence as well. Of course, before they could test it on humans, they used um, apes to develop the uh, cure. And there's one monk uh, ape in particular who developed uh, great intelligence and had human emotion, human instincts, and also wanted to be more human and noticed that between apes and humans there is a very distinct difference and in his eyes apes are treated as animals, as pets, and uh, once mistreated he the ape obviously decides to take matters in his own hands. Uh, I actually thought um, from watching the trailer that this movie was going to be right up my alley as far as entertainment value. I enjoy movies like these. And um, my instincts was right. As from my opinion, I thought it was a great movie. Uh, I liked the action that came from it. I didn't think it was boring at all. It was um, pretty interesting to see the development of this specific ape. Um, as he developed, you know, more human skills and, and you know, smarts. I also thought that uh, it was a uh, good action movie for PG-13. It actually had some good action that um, sometimes you wouldn't see in a PG-13 movie. And um, it was a little heartfelt as well. Uh, you sort of felt bad for the ape as it was being mistreated. Um, it, to me, it was a great example for a blockbuster uh, for the summer. I thought the story was good. Uh, it explained a little bit more that I had no idea was in the original. So if this is sort of a true explanation of how it happened. I thought that was a great way to have a prequel. I thought the acting was good. I thought all the characters were likable. Um, there was some very uh, specific uh, traits between certain apes that stood out and developed their own type of character themselves, which I enjoyed watching as well, so they did really good on that. Uh, as far as the recommendation and replay value, um, of course this is a uh, a uh, summer blockbuster, something that you can definitely um, watch over the summer and, and just enjoy on a good afternoon. Nothing really that you need to see again. Um, as far as recommending this to everyone, um, I would say that it's a good movie and if you trust my judgment, judgment so far, then definitely go see it. But it's not a movie that I definitely can uh, guarantee that you enjoy. There is a lot of plot holes in it. There are lots of situations that definitely could have prevented it from become from going bad to worse. And uh, especially the way that the story is told, you would think there would be a lot of realistic uh, situations in it. And of course, um, in this movie, you'll see that a lot of things could have been prevented. Most of the apes in this film is CGI um, without using real ones. So um, if that is sort of a big issue with you as well, then I don't think that you'll probably enjoy it. But overall, I think it was a good movie, so I'm going to give it 3 out of 5 for its genre. Definitely deserved on the action, a little bit of drama, and of some humor. Uh, great acting and writing, but um, I'm not going to recommend this one, but if you enjoyed everything that I've said about the film and are expecting the same thing, please go see it. Um, so yeah, there you have it. 3 out of 5 for Rise of the Planet of the Apes.